hello, hello, good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. It's gonna be a great day today. Um, today is my weigh-in day, weigh day, weigh Thurs, weigh Friday. No, it's not Friday. Way day, way Thursday. And I know I look like a pretty big weirdo with all my clips in my hair, but you know I do that for a reason. I add so much gel to my hair in the morning to create a beautiful curl that part of my curly girl routine is to keep those roots up so that they will have some lift. So then once my hair fully dries, then, um, I can take the clips out and I'll have beautiful volume. If you're at all interested, let me know. I can show you a little routine, a little tutorial. Anyways, um, today is weigh-in day and I have some good news to announce. I have a loss. Yay! So I was at um, 193.8. Seems like that's where I've been maintaining for the past two months maybe. Um, and with the exception of going out of town to New Orleans where I had um, gained some weight, but the following week I lost that same weight. So yeah, maintaining about the same weight for the past two months, 193.8. Today I'm down 0.8. So now I'm at 193 even. So it is a slow process, but I will take it. I love it. Um, Recently here on my Instagram page a couple days ago. I put some questions up some um, Poll questions too to find out like what kind of content you wanted to see from me um, Or at least my Instagram family And I got some really great feedback and part of the feedback or one of the questions I had put in my poll was um, Did they did the, my audience want to see? more meals like me preparing meals or what I eat in a day and I would say that on my poll question, I got more responses about what I eat in a day. But then when I put a question box, people were writing in and saying that they would um, like me to do more meals. So, um, and then I also asked questions about, would you rather see me walking and talking with my dog? Or do you want me to do exercise videos? Or like, you know, what kind of things are you wanting to see from me? Or do you just not mind me rambling mindlessly about things that are somewhat important and maybe not important at all? So I got a real good response from that. Um, ultimately, uh, I had a lot of response as far as like what I eat in a day and that's super easy for me to do on Instagram I just take a picture of what I'm eating and then I include the calories because on the iTrack Bites app Which is the program I follow. I'm uh, following the calorie command plan so I'm just counting calories and um, It's been working for me and I love it and taking a picture of what I eat is not difficult sometimes it's hard to um, find all the calories right before I want to eat my meal um, just so that I can post the picture but I've been learning lately now that I can just take the picture um, eat my meal and then upload or post what I ate and find all the calories after I eat so <laughs> that's good too uh, but what I'm finding is that by doing that taking a picture of each meal is kind of like holding myself accountable in little mini ways and so um, that makes me excited and happy because um, I, that I know I'm actually tracking, which I've been lacking on for, or slacking on um, and lacking um, for quite some time, and um, and which could be a reason or a cause for my weight to just be stagnant. So um, this might be a good way for me to kick it into gear, uh, see and find out what truly am I eating and um, make some changes, necessary changes. Um, and then also, it kind of gives me a true reality of what exactly am I eating and, <laughs> um, and it helps me. So for instance, breakfast and lunch. Um, breakfast is pretty constant for me. If I grab something from the house to eat at work, then that works out fine. Um, I also have emergency snacks, if you will, in my desk that are um, not as good as they could be. Um, but so for instance, yesterday morning, I brought an apple from home. I have chunky peanut butter, which I love that combination and it's so tasty together. 
especially because if you cut the apple vertically, no, horizontally, like this way, not this way, then you see, um, then you see it in layers, and then you smash, slather on the peanut butter on top of the apple slices, and then you just eat it like a little pizza. Um, it is quite funny. I once I start talking about food, my mouth just starts watering, and I get all excited. So. The second thing, though, that happened yesterday was I was, like, crazy busy, both at work and during my lunch hour. I had an appointment I had to keep with the bank, and so I didn't get a chance to eat lunch, like a proper lunch. So I came back to the office, and um, all I had was a special K bar and then, of course, some Halloween um, mini candy bars. So that technically was my lunch, and um, that was eye-opening to me because... Normally through a busy day, I'm not always keeping track of what I'm eating for meals as far as what did I already eat. Um, I'll see the calories, but I'm not always seeing whether or not the food was the best choice or nutritious. And so, for instance, then last night for dinner, um, I cleaned up my act a little. <laughs> I had some um, chicken cooking in the crock pot that I shredded and, and then I added a little bit of barbecue sauce to um, and then I had a nice plate full of vegetables to have on the side. So that kind of helped me round out my meal to be a little bit more balanced. Um, especially because I think the lunch hour um, got away from me. And I, I wasn't expecting um, to not be able to eat a meal. So those are a couple things that I've been um, trying to keep in mind, try to do. Um, also, as far as uh, exercise goes, this week... Um, what's been working for me. I've been actually able to me maintain or meet my 10,000 step goal every day simply because of this new job change I have. And I shouldn't say that. It's not a new job. It's the same exact job that I've been doing, case management, um, calling patients and following up and finding out th how things are going after they've been discharged from the hospital. But what's nice about it is that our job has changed slightly where we're actually relocated um, within the organization to a different building that's a couple blocks away and at the new building which is connected to the hospital um, we're actually able to see patients at the bedside more often and so that <laughs> has uh, forced me to get my booty in gear during my work shift. So I'm actually able to move more and walk more and gain more steps. So I'm really thrilled about that because as this um, job evolves or changes a little bit more, those steps are going to increase. And um, I know that I'll be walking a lot more at work. Oh, I totally went over the curb there. I swear that I hate driving on this road in the morning. It gets so busy. Anyways. So, uh, very exciting. Those are a couple things that I've been noticing. So, one day I was actually, because then after work I took my dog for a walk and I was able to get like 13 to 14,000 steps in. Whoop, whoop. Um, so, not only did I crush my 10,000 step goal, but I went above and beyond. And that is so exciting to me. So, I, and that was something that I didn't even plan for. It just happened because my job has given me the opportunity to walk more. So, Yay! No more sitting behind a desk all day long. It makes me happy. So then, um, unfortunately, then there's days like yesterday where I had to sit behind my desk a lot more. And uh, hence my step goal only got to be like 8,000, 8, 9,000 steps. So I didn't really get my 10,000 step goal yesterday. So that's okay. Because that's what this whole thing is about. You're just learning. And you're doing what works for your body. And we have to listen to our body. And ultimately, at the end of the day, what I'm learning is whether it's good or bad, which most times it's probably not a good idea if you're not eating a balanced meal. But good or bad, weight loss will happen when you have calorie deficit. And that just means that when you are choosing to... Um, when you're choosing to eat less calories than you burn per day. So that, that is the game plan. That is what I'm doing. Yeah? Who? So anyways, what's been working for you guys this week? What have you been noticing? Anything that you want to share? I'm sure the people down below would love to hear what you have to say. 
Um, let me get out some of these clips because I do look quite weird, don't I? <laughs> Trust me, it all, it all works out in the end. Um, so what am I going to be doing this weekend? Let's see. This weekend is the weekend before Halloween. Wow. That's done. Sorry, I thought I had something that I was looking for and I don't see it. Anyways, this weekend is the weekend um, before Halloween, so that's exciting. We're going to uh, Minneapolis this weekend to see my dad in the nursing home. He is, we're going to celebrate my son's birthday um, and my nephew's birthday because they both have the same birth date, which is November 2nd, um, but we're just celebrating a weekend early um, and that'll be fun. And then my... Um, but but we're also kind of going through uh, sports playoffs this week for fall sports for the family business. And so we've been I've been super busy. So besides working my full time job of being a registered nurse, I'm also doing um, work at the Zaleski Sports Show, which or sorry, Zaleski Sports. And um, so Tuesday I covered volleyball. Today is Thursday. I'm covering volleyball tonight. Ooh. And then tomorrow is Friday, and I'll be covering a football game. So it's just never ending, the amount of um, fun and activity there is to do in life. So um, I am never bored, let me tell you that. All right. <laughs> you can get the gist of what my hair is meant to be like today. Nice, curly, and volume, if I can get it there. But I will um, talk to you guys next week. I appreciate you watching my video and seeing what's going on with me. Um, I'd love to hear what's going on with you guys. And then just uh, drop me a line down below so I know. And yeah, I hope you guys have a good rest of your time this week. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Um, I saw frost on the car this morning for the very first time. That sucks because that means winter's coming and I'm already wearing my winter jacket. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Non-scale victory. I'll just share this quick. Um, most of the work pants that I wear, like even the ones I'm wearing right now, uh, they don't fit around my booty anymore. My booty doesn't hold them up anymore. And I'm happy about that. But work pants are pretty expensive to replace. So I better figure out, maybe I got to start saving some pennies so that I can afford to get a new pair. Uh, so that's exciting. I really am thrilled about that. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side picture today uh, wearing the same sweater that I wore, I think, like a year and a half ago um, when I was at a heavier weight. And I'll just check it out and see. If, if I don't see much of a difference, I won't post the picture. If I do see a difference, I'll share it with you guys. All right. Take care, everybody. We will see you guys next week. Mm -hmm.